uh, M.F. Hussain, someone like him, what a wonderful person. He, if yeah. he says that, oh my God, she is the epitome of something or the other, then it's my responsibility to make sure that I, I protect that. They say, oh, who's your mom? What's her name? And if he says that my mom is my mom, they say, oh, but we know she's Madhavi Dikshit and you're so lucky to have her. She says, mom, but you're just my mom. I say, yeah, of course, I'm your mom. <laughs> Um, it was so refreshing to meet a person who had no clue as to what kind of films I've done, who I am. And you know, he just knew I'm an actress, but that's about it. But he didn't know exactly. You reunited with Anil sir in uh, Total Dhamal. I want to know that is there a plan? Like, can we ever see you with maybe a Shah Rukh sir or a Salman sir or an Amir sir very soon? Her expressions make our dil go thak thak. Her dance can make you envious. Her infectious smile has remained our biggest ishkiya for more than 40 years now. Welcoming the legend Madhuri Dikshit in conversation with me only on Bollywood Bubble. Thank you, ma'am, for doing this. Uh, I wish we could do this in person, but um, I watched your song, Tuhe Mera, and... Uh, is there anything you can't do? I will just start off with that. You can act, you can dance. You're <laughs> such a good person. You're such a fun person. Whenever we meet, um, is there anything you can't do? Uh, <laughs> that's a question. I think um, that's what I believe in. There's nothing that people can't do. You just have to put your mind to it. You just have to, uh, you know, give it your best. You have to work hard at it. It's not as if, you know, I just came there, sung and it was all, you know, done. Uh, I worked for it. I trained uh, with um, a, a, a voice trainer, a voice coach called Ron Anderson, who has coached yeah. the best from Whitney Houston to Ariana Grande to The Weeknd, name it. He's trained all of them. So I took training from him. And then we went into the studio and we recorded the song. So there's a lot of hard work behind it. It's not like something that I just came out and said, okay, now I'm going to sing and I just sang. It's not that. I prepared for it. I worked hard for it. And then, you know, I presented it because um, I've been singing since school, ever since in school. Yeah. And my mom was a classical Hindustani vocal uh, singer and she's done her MA with music. So sometimes we used to sit with her and she used to say, cheese a, a cheese jyoti, so with the faster numbers that they sing. क्लासिकल में तो चीज हम लोग गाते थे मम्मी के साथ उनसे बैठो बैठो मेरे साथ गाओ सो तब से थोड़ा सा वो था ट्रेनिंग और बिकॉज आई वेंट टू अ कॉन्वेंट स्कूल ज्यादा इंग्लिश में गाते थे हम स्कूल में तो वीज टू सिंग इंग्लिश सॉन्ग्स देर तो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट आई एम कम्फर्टेबल इन राइटिंग इन इंग्लिश कैन ऑफ सो आई थॉट दैट फर्स्ट एल्बम विल बी दैट बट ऑफकोर्स इट्स नॉट एज इफ आई वोट डू अंदी सॉन्ग एवर बट राइट नाउ दिस इज वॉट I have done and this is what I want to take to my fans. So the Gana originated because, you know, of the kind of love and support that I have received from my fans for so many years. And they've always like looked up to me and always encouraged me, you know, always. So I thought, you know, I wanted to do something for them. And Tuhe Mira happened out of that. I have to ask you this, that um, I have to tell you, like, हमारे इंडियन संस्कार में ही है कि सिंगिंग डांसिंग इट्स पार्ट ऑफ आर कल्चर लाइक इवन आई एम अ बंगाली सो व्हेन आई वाज अ चाइल्ड वी आर ऑलवेज पुट इन क्लासेस राइट कि गाना गा लो डांस कर लो फिर जिसमें इंटरेस्ट हो उसमें आगे बढ़ो इट्स इट्स डीप रूटेड यू हैव बीन अ ट्रेन डांसर पीपल टॉक अबाउट योर डांस एंड इन द लास्ट 2 3 इयर्स फ्रॉम द टाइम कैंडल केम आउट एंड नाउ दिस आई थिंक पीपल आर आल्सो स्टार्टिंग टू टॉक अबाउट योर सिंगिंग बिकॉज़ यू सैंग ऑन अ रियलिटी शो फर्स्ट इफ आई एम नॉट a uh, mistake in the first time we heard you sing and we were like what she can sing this well why not yeah, try to that sing as a as a fundraiser or uh, my son arin uh, usne piano bajaya tha he had played the piano and had sung perfect by ed sheeran uh, yeah. so that was the first time where people actually heard, heard me sing and before that i think candle which we had dropped during um, uh, the lockdown the first lockdown that happened um so i think yeah and now this is the third song that people are hearing me sing song is dedicated to your fans aaj ke zamane mein you get love from social media and you know the love has translated there but in the 90s um khat likhe jate the then you know you would get those bouquets um abhi yes. bhi hota hai but tab ka mahol alag tha tab ke actors mein wo ek intrigue tha ki pata nahi tha na ki our favorite 
मतलब एकदम वो एक और था डू यू मिस दोज डेज देर है you know mf hussain has been one of your biggest fans uh, he is you've been his muse and then there have been moments where movies have had your names as titles with it mai madhuri dikshit banna chahti hu you enjoy that kind of phenomena for and fandom yeah i mean uh, for me it was all the love for what i do for me it was like i love to act i love to dance i love to sing i love to do all these things and what better way than you know being a profession which you like to do so for me it was never work for me i was always excited in the morning today i'm on this set i'm playing this character and you know, those those kind of things so uh, for me whatever happened after that was the fame you know it's it's a it's kind of a by product of what i do a by product is fame but fame also brings responsibility you know with it like if uh, an uh, mf hussain someone like him what a wonderful person he if yeah. he says that oh my god she is the epitome of something or the other then it's my responsibility to make sure that i i protect that and i keep you know working towards getting better and better and better because you have to be an inspiration for people so you have to do something out of the box you have to do something different so that others can follow you know and sometimes you might fail while doing that and sometimes you might succeed but you have to keep trying you have to keep doing you have to push yourself you have to push your boundaries to be better and better and uh, you know that's what i believe in and and i love doing that so so like i said uh, all the fans you know throughout the years uh, letters being written to us and in my song if you see uh, we have uh, yes. given a kind of a nod to that like letters fan mail jo pehle aate the fan mails you know and lovely cards even on my birthday so many people send me cards which they have made themselves gone through so much trouble making like little things and trying to create uh, something different every year which is amazing for me because that's their art that's the way they are expressing their love and this is the way i express my love for them by singing the song to him era which i have written along with mari absolutely and i feel that you know you've been one of those human beings who have who has remained untouched by the stardom like there has been immense there's been super stardom but sometimes stardom can get to you and you know you become a different person but i still feel that at heart you're the same middle class maharashtrian woman who has those roots in her place who's grounded and who's extremely connected to the family i think that's that's something that has never changed right hmm? no, that moment that's the way i grew up that's the way my parents have brought me up they have given me all these values they've always said that there's no um, substitute to hard work you have to work very hard with what you do be sincere to your work do it to the best of your abilities everything else follows but never ever forget that family close friends which you know since childhood they are the ones who should you know always be with you and you should always carry them forward i teach my kids the same thing respect yeah. everyone you know love everyone and you might be good at whatever you do but you're a human being first you know that that is what i believe in too and your kids have had a very normal upbringing you know despite being madhuri dikshit's kids i feel that they've never been really out there in the media you also have given them a very protective protected uh, environment and a normalcy a sense of normalcy which you absolutely. may have had in your life yes absolutely and that's so important i feel to create good people you have to have like they have their aji ajo they have the jiji jojo my uh, you know ram's uh, parents they have them around them all the time they they interact with them they love them um uh, friends and whatever you do in your life what you do should determine who you are you know not what you become or not what you get out of it yeah. but you what you are doing you know is what defines you so i think uh, that's what i've taught them to do and you know you are a person first more than anything else absolutely and, uh, absolutely yeah that's how they've grown up i mean everything else is okay it's all even my fame has never touched them they are very nonchalant about it and uh, yeah i mean through friends they sometimes feel that you know uh, thing where they say oh who's your mom what's her name and if he says that my mom is my mom they say oh but we know she's madhuri dikshit and you're so lucky to have her this is mom but you're just my mom i say yeah because <laughs> i'm your mom <laughs> so those kind of things but 
but it's they they have taken it in their stride and i think they are good people and that's what i want them to be first and foremost what's the craziest thing a fan has ever done for you man oh my god <laughs> there's so many crazy things they keep doing now with social media you see so much of it they sing my songs they dance to my songs they will uh, you know make videos of that send it to me they will uh, make lovely like i said like cards and little artwork and uh, paintings and uh, you know uh, creative arts and there's so much they do uh, which is amazing to because then i feel oh my god how talented they are too uh, so yeah it's it's uh, so many things i mean i can't just name one crazy thing but at the same time you know this interview won't be complete if i don't speak about uh somebody who's been a constant support to you in the last 25 years which is uh, ram sir i think yeah. both of you there's there's a sense of normalcy there also you're not like other yeah. couples not completely out there both very private individuals but also doing their mm-hmm. work head on like yeah. um there's never been a moment where yes you were in america and we would miss you but there's never been a moment where you've been forgotten and he has a role to play in that is what i feel he's always been there um yeah. you know uh, bolten ak always been a big support to me in whatever i've done in my life it's like he always push me no no you do it go there you know it's it's your legacy and you have to continue with that um he he really has been like a backbone to me uh, even where to him era is concerned the songs that i've sung he's the one who encouraged me so you sing so well you should go you should do it you know uh, sing your emotions you know and uh, that's a part of who you are and you should express that and that's why to him to him era and my whole album has happened my first song candle which we had yeah. uh, dropped during uh, the first lockdown during covid which we dedicated to the frontline workers all songs have an emotional thread behind it like my first True. song was about you know being the beacon of light even if everything is you're in a storm and everything in your own life is not really going the way you want you still have to be an inspiration to people who are watching you you have to put that out there you know and with this song i have expressed my love for my fans they have loved me for so many years and i thought this was the time to give them back something some of their love and so we wrote the songs uh, me and raja kumari who is also a very very talented singer herself yeah uh, so we sat down we wrote the song and narendra singh was the producer and we kind of made it happen but i don't think it all would have happened without him encouraging Absolutely. me always you know yeah Yeah. and the title is so sweet to him era which is also something that you dedicated to your fans um but i want to know when was that moment you know when you got married a lot of hearts actually broke like a lot of hearts actually broke i want to know when was that moment where you felt like saying that to sir ram sir ki tu hai mera or when he said that to you i met him uh, at a party in, at my brother's mm-hmm. house and um, it was so refreshing to meet a person who had no clue as to what kind of films i've done who i am and you know he just knew i'm an actress but that's about it but he didn't know exactly uh, because he's grown up there and he was uh, in the medical uh, thing for 17 years you have to you know study to be uh, a doctor finally out there to specialize like uh, in cardiothoracic surgery so 17 years of your life you have to dedicate to study for that and so he was very busy and he had not really uh, seen uh my movie so it was so refreshing when i met him and it was like we just talking about various things about life or this about that like normal people you know and i thought that he had no preconceived notions about what kind of person i am because of what he's seen on screen and so it was so wonderful to uh see him and talk to him and then we met again and uh, i think we we started talking a lot and we met and dheere uh, dheere then of course i started realizing like yeah to him era <laughs> <laughs> but madam um uh, this uh, this would be my last question that you know today is the time when we are seeing all our favorite heroines come back and get prominent roles when it's a fame game i love the fame game i love you. you in it and i think we, i watch it with my entire family and friends and they loved you in it too we are waiting Thank for you. season 2 um another se- uh, series got announced but there's something that we 90s act uh, you know kids are waiting to watch because today is the time when there is an age of relevance एक टाइम ऐसा था जहां पे हम लोग सोचे थे कि एक शेल्फ लाइफ होती थी एक्ट्रेसेस की बट अभी नहीं है वैसा एंड एवरीबॉडी इज गेटिंग टू प्ले प्रोमिनेंट रोल्स आई वांट टू नो बट डू यू फील लाइक यू रियूनाइटेड विद अनिल सर इन टोटल धमाल आई वांट टू नो दैट इज देयर अ प्लान लाइक कैन वी एवर सी यू विद 
maybe a sharukh sir or a salman sir or namit sir very soon like i am a dil to pagal hai fan fanatic so yeah i'm asking like well let's see that's um, that's um, that's everybody is asking me that question and i think uh, we will see how it goes but as far as you're saying about the heroines have come back uh, i hate the word come back but come everybody say yeah they've always been there like uh, ravina in aryana is fabulous uh, sushmita in um, in her series uh, then um, uh, i just uh, saw a little bit of thursday yami gautam is fantastic and it's great to see uh, women getting such good roles you know and ott has managed to do that because they don't have to work in a constraint of oh it has to be um, it has to be a hit and you have to add this and then it just has to be that and and there are no preconceived notions there you can make a film make a series the way you want to uh, you know cast people you want to and um, and you know make the whole um uh, you know uh, the the you can create a whole world in which you can draw people and that's uh, what a series do you know actually once you start watching yeah. you cannot stop sometimes because you know every person and you are uh, you know uh, you are with them in their journeys even the smaller characters have their own journeys and you're with them and you want to know and you're curious about each character and what's happening to them which is which is wonderful you know and uh, i think i think even uh, for alia gangubai was a great great victory because they did so well in the theaters it was uh, you know very female uh, prominent and i think uh, i think the world is changing and we will yeah. see a lot of changes yet yeah you know? today there is dipika padukone there is kangana ranaut there is uh, katrina kaif and it's absolutely, absolutely yes, it's changing playing like roles which i don't think uh, could have imagined you know that a heroine can play this role uh, of play that character they are no longer you know type cast or stereotypical uh, heroines even moms who are cast they are not stereotypical moms they are people they are very strong they are individuals they are flawed but you know they are characters in movies and i think and that's that's fabulous about today's time thank you so much ma'am um it is always a pleasure talking to you and yes i always wo aapse milunga to wo scratch card aise main karunga i remember the first time we had done for dance diwani um we had like you told me the scratch card you're scratching the card i'm like yes i am going to do that more often i hope i um do an interview with you soon where we get to meet uh, in person absolutely absolutely and nice. all the best and I, thank you and i hope you I'll, cut an album soon are you ever listen to this single <laughs> i have already listened listen to it 30 times tu hai mera do that tu hai mera tu hai mera yeah aap ho hum sab ke that's all that's all, all right thank, thank you so much ma'am thank you it was lovely talking to you same here